What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use all-in-one SEO in order to create your website, your WordPress website sitemap.xml, okay? So what is the sitemap? This is the Visual Moto sitemap. As you can see, it's a map that structures all of the posts, pages and contents present on your site that you can submit into the Webmaster Tools like Google, for example, Bing, and other webmaster tools, okay? This is really, really important for your SEO. If you are not using Yoast SEO already, you can use all-in-one SEO. Both plugins are free. And into this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use all-in-one SEO to create this sitemap right here for free. But before I can start, please take a moment to be part of the Visual Moto family by hitting the subscribe button, liking this video, sharing this content with a friend of yours, and doing a comment. You have no idea how much it helps us, because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations, and many, many, many more topics, okay? So let's get this started. First of all, we're going to move to our WordPress dashboard, okay? And from here, we're going to start looking at the left sidebar of menus and hovering your mouse over plugins and once on plugins click on add new and into the search plugins at the upper right corner right here we, we're gonna need to type all in one so all in one and as we can see this is the plugin, it's active in 3 million WordPress installations, okay, in 3 million websites, it's very well hated, and it's completely free, so we're gonna click on install. After this, we're gonna click on activate button, this is gonna redirect us, no need to worry, okay? So, welcome to the all-in-one setup wizard, let's get started imported data from current plugin. So the if you are ready, if you are using the Yoast SEO like I am following the video tutorials that I have shared previously into this guide, you can import the data from this plugin. If not, you can skip this step, okay? But I'm gonna import just to show you. Which category best describes our, our, your website? A blog, a news channel, an online store, a small office business, corporation, a portfolio, in this case, in my case, it's gonna be a blog, okay, but do it according to your site, now, the home page title, site title, separator, tagline, so, home, visual motor sandbox, home page meta description, this is the meta description of your page, you can, you most type the things that more, better describes your business, okay, let's continue, Additional site information, if you're a person or organization, your phone number, the contact type, for example, okay, reservation, sales, billing, customer support, you most upload your logo, the full social media image, social media profiles, you can enter the profiles links right here, let's continue. So, right here, this is the most important part for our tutorial, site maps. Can you see that is market already? So let's continue. Search appearance. This is how our website gonna looks at the search engines, for example, like Google. Enable sitemap. Do you have multiple authors? Have direct attachment page. So this is the search appearance of your site. Let's continue. Setup, Site Analyzer, My Smart Recommendations. You can set this if you want or not, okay? Let's save and continue. They're gonna show you some pro versions, options. I'll do that later, okay? You must enter with your key if you have purchased the premium version. We have no need to purchase the premium version in order to have the site map, okay? So no need to worry. Let's skip this step. You can join their community. See advanced settings or finish the setup and go to the dashboard. That is what we're gonna do. And here is the all-in-one SEO page. And if you review, once again, the left sidebar of menus of your site, you're gonna be able to see a new button right here next to settings, the all-in-one SEO. And if you click on it, you can see a sub-menu called sitemaps. 
click on it okay general site map the most important part it set is a zone let's review our site map you're gonna open the site map here is our site map okay this is all the content we have on our site and this is the URL, okay? So the domain.com, domain.net, sitemap.xml, okay? Simple and easy. Now we can customize our sitemap. For example, enable sitemap indexes. Yes, we want to enable. Links per sitemap, we can set this to a thousand or change in the case that you want. A thousand is good. If you hit this amount of links, they're gonna create a new sitemap. The sitemap number two, the sitemap number three. No need to worry, just like this right here into the visual mode, okay? So if your site turns too big, they're gonna create more sitemaps automatically. Can you include the post types on your sitemap? What, what are post types? Products of your WooCommerce is a custom post types. If you are using a portfolio, things, okay, it's all custom post types. The normal post types of your WordPress are blog and pages. Other are custom post types, okay? Taxonomies, okay, so the categories, data archive sitemap, outer sitemap, we can enable the outer sitemap in the case that you would like to have a sitemap for posts created for some person, okay? So additional pages in the case that you want, we can apply this okay using the page url and advanced settings in the case that you prefer exclude sitemaps for some results exclude terms priority score post type priority score taxonomy priority score and exclude images i would like to include images into the sitemap but this is up to you okay according to your needs you can fully customize the sitemap after change made, just click into the save change and we are good to go and already have a very good sitemap in addition to a very good SEO plugin that you can use for free, okay? And that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out our Borderless WordPress plugin in order to have widgets, elements, templates and tools for your Elementor or Block Editor Gutenberg page builder, okay? In addition to pre-built type size that you can import with a single click. Let me show you. All those pre-built type sites can be imported on your site for free, okay? And how to do this? You must install the plugin. Only this. So, as you can see, the site I'm using is this one. To install the plugin, all you have to do is go to your WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, search for borders, click on install and activate it, okay? The plugin is completely free. Moreover, if you want to have all our menu customization options, logo upload options, cart icon, search icon on menu, and many, many more options to customize your site, go to your WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for Enzo WordPress theme, click on install and activate it. This theme is going to bring you pre-built websites, templates and many more topics. And as a final note, in the case that you prefer to go premium to save time, count on our support, premium design assets like widgets, blogs, templates and sections, and have full access to the template library from VisualMoto, just go to visualmoto.com, purchase the VisualMoto Pass and go premium. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best!